us, Professor J.K. Roy. So we have already seen you that uh, as a very good teacher, we have seen you as an eloquent teacher and uh, you have a very deadly passion for tumor genetics and developmental genetics which has already been reflected in all the research that you have been doing. I mean, you also handle two model systems at one time. You have been working on human papillomavirus as well as Drosophila as a model system. You have worked on cancer, on vesicular trafficking as well as on homeotic genes in Drosophila. So, you have also been a very active member of this small family of ours. And you have also been very instrumental in organizing workshops for school children, for college students, for teachers in the colleges and the universities. So, how do you see that you yourself as a member of this family and this lab, this family of ours, has contributed to the growth, the nurture of science among the youth? I mean, how do you think that you have inspired or this lab has been instrumental in inspiring young students to take up science? Yeah, I initially, I was in a research institute. I came to this place because I love teaching and when I joined this place it was really something great that I could come to Cytogenetics Lab, the place from where I did my PhD. After three years or so of my joining, Professor Lakhotia had started contact program every summer for college students. That was such a kind of program which not only students might have enjoyed, more than that we who contributed to the uh, organization of that workshop, those workshops, we enjoyed a lot. And not only enjoyment, we learned a lot. So those workshops every year consecutively for eight years, we got a chance to get new students and we interacted with them. It was long hour workshop from morning till say eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock in night. Every time after the day ends, we were sitting together and we were discussing why we did this, what we did exactly and how we should do it. So that way, uh, many questions, maybe in first workshop, we might not have answered. In second workshop, we could uh, very uh, actively, we could deal those things. And that helped. And we got interest that if we can reach to youth, it will be really good and students will get inspired. I'll cite one example. Uh, Lolitika Mandal, who was that time. Lolitika, uh, she came from Barthman. She has been your PhD student, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she came from Barthman. Okay. She was doing MSc. She came for this uh, contact program. And she got so much inspired that she took up science, she worked in this lab as a PhD student and now she is working in Mohali as a faculty. So that was something, that is the kind of inspiring student I'll say from those workshops. After that we regularly did several workshops. Once we did a workshop uh, which was hosted or which was supported by Indian Academy of Science where Professor Lakhoti and Professor Raman they were conveners and I was the organizing secretary. We had a very good developmental bi biology workshop for uh, teachers, for some of the students, for some of the research students and that was also a great experience. Later, we did several other workshops. One was DST, DBT and CSIS supported workshop. That was for say 15 days or so. That also uh, was for college teachers. 
and teachers we got a spark in the eyes of teachers so we felt that those kind of workshops are successful kind of work so these were some of the workshops for teachers later we are also involved in indian academy of science uh, uh, sorry in uh, cell biology uh, we are associated with cell biology and in cell biology there is a provision that we could organize some of the workshops we could organize some of the we could go to some of the remote places for delivering lecture we did go we did organize some of the workshops for college teachers some of the workshops for college teachers and i am sure college teachers enjoyed a lot and they might so that the training might have percolated to the students and the best thing that some of the teachers they ask are you doing again a workshop so again we may get chance to learn something that means i'll i'll just put in one more question we've often seen you extending these programs not only till college but also for school students yeah we have seen you putting up demonstrations yes yeah, I'll, I'll, i'll come yeah. to that so that is how many workshops we dr madhuta padia she also organized organized some of the workshops in the lab and where college teachers were involved there are several programs like inspire programs which schools organize and otherwise also in some of these schools they sometimes organize a small one day kind of workshop come lecture so those kind of things i had been to various places i had been to allahabad i had been to raipur i had been to several other village uh, schools and we talked to a mass many a large number of student when i talked about insert inspire there what happens that most of the good students of a region they are selected for inspire program and that is how they come the number is something like 200 to 250 and with that mass that much mass also we had organized we did uh, deliver lectures and we could organize various practicals with the students got very much attracted i'll cite one example of inspire program in raipur i thought that inspire program was what i have seen the best what they had during the whole day they had lecture then the demonstrations the demonstrations i insisted or we insisted that we should have practical demonstration and they did that so that was something marvelous at towards the end of the day there was a discussion session very few students asked question but as the time passed so many questions and so many important very good sharp questions came that uh, we all whoever were the faculty there we all very much enjoyed answering them or that in fact really inspired many of these students that yes if this is the condition then we should take science and so on so when we have such kind of things at least some of these students few students maybe 10 students out of 200 if they think that yes one should go for the science i'm sure that is the success of those kind of workshops or those kind of lecture programs and there i think we could reach to most of the many places we could reach to many students uh, many young students who were not knowing much of science who did not who did not had exposure to let us say practical classes at all and we could show them many of them later they visited our labs also so what i'll say that as prasal khotia started contact program that was and in bsc we have a large number of students and i am sure with our interaction with them 
many of these students might have got inspired. So I'll say this is the contribution of the cytogenetics unit as a whole that th these things could become possible. I'll just drop in one last question. We see very many students here and possibly they are going to be the next generation teachers. So we have always seen you balancing teaching, research, outreach programs, conferences, workshops, reaching out to the masses, taking biology to the common man. So what is your message for the people who are going to be teachers in future? I'll, again, I'll say that as we got inspired, we got inspired from our teachers. Once again, I'll name Professor Lakotia, Professor Raman. These two teachers, they are ideal for me. Same way, I'm sure, because they are around, they are contributing actively to the growth of cytogenetics lab. And all these students who are here, they, who will be the teachers uh, just after a few years, they are, I'm sure, getting inspired by them and maybe we are also somewhere to inspire them a bit so with this i am sure the students they are better than any teachers so we have in our lab such kind of students and i am sure they will excel much more than what we did they will excel and they will do